Hello Internet and welcome to my Let's Play of Siberia. Um, Siberia is an adventure game and it's 15 years old now so the graphics obviously are not great and the resolution is not fantastic. So, but it is a great game. I love the theme. Um, I love the gameplay. It was actually the first game of its genre that I managed to play without a uh, manual. <laughs> um, and uh, yeah, it's one of my favorite games. I can't remember where I heard about it or what, but um, I hope you enjoy it. Okay, so um, I won't be talking much during cutscenes because I kind of enjoy watching them and I think the sounds and music in this game are amazing so I don't want to spoil that by talking over them. Um, so we are Kate Walker just arrived in Faladilen and uh, this is our hotel apparently. So let's see what we can do here. I really don't have the strength to take this suitcase any further. I wonder who can help me. Yes. Don't pack so much next time. Right. Welcome to Valadilen, the world capital of mechanical toys. Let yourself be transported by the magnificent landscape surrounding Valle du Laine, a small charming town tucked away in the Alps, and by Vorarlberg Manufacturing, whose exceptional savoir-faire in the specialized world of luxury mechanical toys and automatons is at the root of Valle du Laine's reputation around the world. For 800 years, the Vorarlberg family has passed its knowledge from generation to generation, perfecting the art of that particular branch of clockmaking that breathes life into the complex network of cogs and spindles that make up automatons. Its creative wonders once defied belief and drew the admiration of young and old alike. People would come from across Europe for a chance to vie for the right to own one of these fantastic toys. Unequaled savoir-faire. At the heart of a mechanical automaton is its motor. A series of spindles are set in motion to music via a set of cogs. Attached to the spindles are cams that are shaped in the image of the music. In turn, they command a series of rods which control the gestures of the toy at their tips. Automaton construction takes place in three stages, modelling, mechanics and casing. The process requires the participation of 20 different specialised trades. In its heyday, the Vorarlberg factory employed over a hundred craftsmen. 
mechanics, watchmakers, sculptors, tailors and dressmakers working in separate workshops. For Oberg automatons all have two distinguishing features in common, their high precision mecha me mechanisms and the characteristic Vorlberg wind-up key. Devising and assembling each model is a meticulous process. Standard toys are constructed from local wood, while the most sophisticated ones use more precious resources, such as ebony imported from Madagascar. Despite competition from Asia, the Vorlbergs never gave in to the temptation to produce electrical robots and chose to continue their exploration of the mysteries of perpetual mechanical motion. The Vorlbergs have come a long way from their simple jointed puppets of yesteryear. Today, their creations are so lifelike, one has the impression that they can think for themselves. The first signs of puppet manufacture in Valadi Land go goes back to the 13th century. While there was maybe no definite puppet industry at the time, Hermann Vorlberg's renown was recognized even in the court of the emperor. Right, there's a nice fake old picture of the puppet and the emperor. It was not until the 17th century that Charles Vorlberg founded the Vorlberg Mechanical Toy and Puppet Factory and industrial activity in the valley really took off. The reputation of Valid Land and its famous toys then just kept growing and growing. And that's Charles Vorlberg with one of his creations. A large part of production was devoted to producing theatrical puppets at the time. The turn of the 20th century was Valadilen's golden age, as expressed in the factory's impressive architecture and the main houses of the town. The Vorlberg reputation crossed the oceans, dispatching its fine precision mechanis mechanisms across the globe to delighted buyers who began to believe that Vorlberg automatons had a life of their own. Rudolf Vorlberg managed to do business during the glory years of the Vorlberg factory stern looking man. Since the end of the Second World War, the destiny of the factory has been in the hands of Rudolf's daughter, Anna Vorlberg, the last and sole descendant of the prestigious line of craftsmen. This inspiring figure negotiated the business through the end of the war. She breathed new life into production by creating works of art to appeal to experts and enthusiasts alike. Vorlberg automatons became rare collector's items with highly inno innovative mechanisms of unequalled ingeniousness even to this day. So I guess that's what this village is famous for, its automatons, which in the cutscene we saw a couple of. Um, can we run? Yes, we can. Double click. So like I said, I have played this game before, um, though it has been some years, I might have forgotten how certain things work or certain puzzles are. Um, we'll see how it goes. I like the sound of the rain in the background. Let's talk to this guy. Hi there. Hey, hi there. What are you doing? Can I see? No, too difficult. Momo's work very difficult. Okay, let's introduce ourselves. So, your name's Momo. I'm Kate. Momo do like Hans. He draw. Hans? Don't disturb Momo. Momo work difficult. Will you show me your drawing? No, not finished. Go away. Yeah, get the uh, impression he's a bit annoyed with us now. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm done. I guess I'll let you continue working. Right. All the desk. No. Oh, key. I need a key. Mm, right click, yeah.
Okay, okay, I'm coming. Helpful. So like I was saying before, I didn't need a manual finishing this game the first time that, well, the first time I played it. Um, because all of the puzzles are fairly straightforward and, and relatively logical, um, as, you'll, as you'll notice. Hi there. Hello there, ma'am. My name is Kate. I would like a room. My company should have made a reservation in the name of Walker. The company is Marson and Lormont Associates. The name is Kate Walker. Of course, Miss Walker. You are in room six on the next floor up. Thank you. I guess I'll need some help getting my heavy suitcase up. Could you possibly take my luggage up, please? Please do excuse me, Miss Walker. We have been neglecting our duties. Guests are so rare these days that we forget our manners. So you're the American woman? Is it true what people say? That you've come to buy the factory? Not factory. Anna's house. Hans' house. Excuse me? Would you quiet down, you mischievous little boy? Ah. Oh. I imagine our little town must disappoint you. You see... Today is very sad for us. It's a day of mourning. Today is the funeral of Miss Anna. Momo sad, but Hans not dead. Hans long way away. Anna told Momo. Anna liked Momo very much. That's enough, Momo. Stop pestering the lady. Now go on, scram. Get out of here, you hear? I really didn't mind it so much. But okay. What was I saying? Oh, yes, Miss Anna. Such a great loss for Ballet de Laine, it really is. Because now that she's dead, the factory will close. But you're here to stop that happening, aren't you? Our future is in your hands, Miss Walker. What? Anna Varlberg is dead? Well, that was the big procession we saw when we arrived. It was obviously a funeral. Plus, it's raining. Raining. Here's your room. I hope you like it, Miss Walker. 